Welcome back to my channel, Knitting with Sue. Um, it's been a while, I know, but I'm back now and we'll be making pretty cool stuff. So today we're going to be making um, these little bows. I'm going to show you how I make these bows. So um, when I make them, I use them for quite a lot of things. Um, I use them to accessorize some of my knit, my knit stuff, like um, beanies, hats, like this one. I made the ball separately, then I attach it to the beanie like this. So, um, and the other ones, the one that I showed you earlier, are uh, here ties. I have attached an elastic band at the back, or you can use um, elastic scrunchies to attach at the back to tie your little girl's hair. So, these are pretty cute. Um, I have had some that I've also put on, on headbands at the front is the bow accessory so this is what we're going to do today i'm going to show you how to make this so for us to make this the materials that we're going to need um our yarn obviously i'm going to be using two contrasting colors unlike in the other bows um so this is a different type of yarn that i used for the strip in the middle then um, a different type of color for for the bow so that's what i'm going to do um this is going to be my main color and this is going to be for the strip so this type of yarn it's three strand um it's a type um this is the type of the yarn it's a chinese brand um it's um a soft um baby soft bamboo cotton type of yarn so this is pretty safe for baby skin gentle on baby skin and it's very soft to the touch and I love the, love the shine. So the balls come out pretty, pretty cute. Um, we're going to need our knitting needles. Um, for this, for this one, um, you can use, this is a 3.25 millimeter. Yes, this is 3.25 millimeter. And these are bamboo needles. So for this, you can use either straight or circular needles, but I've got circular needles only. So this is what I'm going to use. But you can also use 3.5 millimeter for with this one i used a 3.5 millimeter so between the range is 3.25 to 3 millimeter for this type of yarn because it's pretty thin then you're going to need our um, thread cutter our tapestry needle and um, we're also going to need our our tape measure and lastly we're going to need the little hair tie or the elastic band i improvised i used an elastic band so this is what we're going to do so let's get started so i say this is going to be my main yarn this yarn is really cool guys love it love it love it love it so for this bowl we're going to cast on 28 stitches 28 stitches yes so i use the long tail cast on method so let's cast on 28 this is two three four five so now i've got my 28 stitches and as usual i like to secure this last stitch by just making a knot here right there we go i don't like a long thread hanging so i'll cut this short all right so now we get started um the first row we need all we're going to need all 28 stitches for the first row um because i'll be working with stocking at stitch so I figured that it's good to have the edges in cutter stitch so that it doesn't roll up because stocking it stitch on its own tends to to roll up. So this first row we need all as well as the second row. Um, as you can see in the other balls that I made, I've got four rows of cutter stitch 
to bring out these two little ridges here the two cute ridges that we have here so i'm going to do cara stitch for four rows then we'll start our stocking each stitch okay so we continue to knit all the first row is usually a bit tough because my casting one is a bit tight not really tight but first rows are always like this so first row we're going to knit all i love this yarn guys it's really really soft and shiny perfect for cute little bows for little girls um i wish i could read chinese so i could really um make out what's written on the label but from my research they say this is um a blend of bamboo and cotton so it's safe for little girls so you want to make um, headbands i've made headbands from this and it's pretty cool so yeah we're going to do our knit all knit wise for the first row 27 and the 28th stitch okay so we've done our first row now for the second row so i'm going to do four rows of cutter stitch so that i get those two little cute ridges of cutter stitch okay so i'll get you when i'm done with the four rows um i've started row four this is the last row of cutter stitch so as you can see the edge is coming out pretty cute the cutter stitch edges we don't want it to curl up so um our pattern changes when we get to row five that's when we're starting with the stocking it part and we'll do the stocking it part for a while um this is the cutter stitch part almost done with it just a few stitches to go all right so we're done now this was row four now we're going to row five row five we're going to pearl all this is the wrong side of our work so i'm going to pearl all this will be the wrong side So we're pearling all our 28 stitches. Okay. Like I always say, I'm pretty slow <laughs> with, with the pearl and I'm getting used to it now. So by the time lockdown is done, I should be a pro. I should be a pro with this so i'm going to pearl all this is row five okay so now this is row six row six we need all so that we get the stocking it part so we're needing all Need all twenty eight stitches. It's a pretty simple pattern. There's nothing much to it, just um, making the components that is the bow. This is the main, your main part, then um, the strip, the middle strip. Okay. 
then just attaching the three with um, your hairband so it's nothing much really just a bit of gutter stitch some stock in it and just shaping your ball okay so this is row seven done next row sorry that was row six yes this was row six on to row seven row seven we pull all is with the stocking and stitch pattern this is the reverse side the wrong side of our work we pull all so i've been having so much fun doing these little balls because they don't take much time and they don't like large projects i don't like projects that take me days or a day even I like the small projects so i can relish my work at the end of the day so these balls are the perfect project for someone like me who doesn't like to take too much time on one project so these little balls will do just great and the kitchen so we're pulling all this is row seven so we're going to repeat this pattern the stocking at part until it's um 12 centimeters long from where the gutter stitch ends right here we're going to continue with the stocking edge stitch until this part measures 12 centimeters um 12 centimeters that's about this long okay that's almost about five inches so i'll be back with you when i'm 12 inches, 12 centimeters long okay i'm back i've done my stocking edge stitch um so I'm going to be doing one last pearl row, then I'm going to do four, stitch, four rows of cutter stitch like I did at the beginning. So this is my last row. I'm going to pearl all stitches. So I finish off the stocking edge part. The next row after this one will be the first row of the four gutter stitch rows right so we're purling all so when we're done with the four, four rows of gutter stitch we bind off our ball then um, we make our strip the strip is pretty simple it's just stocking it stitch throughout and it's just a few stitches just eight stitches then we make our strip um, five centimeters of stocking and stitch and we bind that off again then we start seaming and sewing together our ball so um, i guess the art around this work around this project is on shaping your ball that's where the art really is. So I'm done with the row, the last row of stocking it stitch. On to the four rows of gutter stitch. So this is row one. Row one of gutter stitch. And it coincides with <laughs> with the knit row, so you don't notice it you start seeing the gutter after the second row okay so i'm going to knit throughout right to the end of the row that is the the 28 stitches knit all of them so you see how cool this yarn is with the little popping colors 
um, this peach is the main color some yellows some blue some white so with your strip really you've got um, you spoiled for choice um, when you're choosing the strip color um, you can choose any of the colors that that we have here you can use the yellow you can use the white you can use the blue so I'm going to use a pale pale banana yellow for the strip right so the first row is done now I'm going on to row two of cut a stitch so instead of purling this time on the wrong side we're knitting all we're knitting all 28 stitches so um, I've only just started using this bamboo needles the only downside is they're pretty sharp near the edges <laughs> unlike the stainless steel ones that I usually use so really have to be careful I had lots of injuries the first days but besides that they're perfect they're perfect to use the stitches just slide off so I'm almost done with row two row two of my gutter stitch edge so there's the first ridge of gutter stitch then this is row three so row three we need all again so I'm going to knit all for row three then do the same for row four um, then on the fifth row I bind off my work so we're almost there we're almost done with our bow like I said there's nothing much to to to, to this pattern no SSK, no, no SSKs, no decreases, no increases, just the basic stitches of knitting. You're stocking it and you got her. So it's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy project to make. So I'm done with row three. Then row four. Row four is my last cut a stitch row for the edge. Then we're done with the bow part. So next, next we're going to do the strip. Then we're done with this. So we need all twenty eight stitches. So what's going to happen? Some of you might be wondering why my my bow looks this way we're going to fold this in half then we seam the edges together so that we get the size of the bow that we want okay so this row is almost done meaning we're almost done with our bow two stitches to go and then we're done now um, we're going to bind off our work so I'm going to use the ordinary bind off not the stretchy one I need the tight one because I want my edges to be nice and tight and not stretchy to be straight so this is the bind off that I'm using so we bind off all stitches to get the nice pretty edge always make sure that your tension is tight so that you get the nice tight tension on your bound off edge okay so I'll catch you when I'm right so there we go our edge nicely bound off nice and knit so I'm going to for the last stitch 
Then we cut off your yarn. Um, leave some. That's quite. Uh, that's a bit long. For your seaming. So take this through there to secure that part. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half. Fold this evenly into two like this right then we're going to seam these two edges together these two edges we're going to seam them together right so before we do the seaming um let's go on to making our strip the middle strip so as i was saying the art is on with the shaping of your bow how you shape your bow okay so let's put this aside and go on to making the middle strip so for the middle strip we're going to cast on eight stitches so it's two three four five six seven eight as per tradition through tradition we tie a knot here to secure that so my first row I'm going to pearl all Pearl all eight stitches. Okay. Now there's nothing much to the strip really. Just you stocking it stitch throughout. Okay. Right, row number two, we knit all. Knit all eight stitches. Okay. On to row number three, we pearl all. Let's pearl all the eight stitches. So we're going to do our stocking it stitch right until the strip is about five centimeters long. Okay. So we're pearling all, this is row three, we're pearling all, row four, we're knitting all. So we'll repeat this pattern until the strip measures five centimeters in length. Okay, so I'll be back when this measures five centimeters. Right, so my strip is long enough, so I'm going to bind that off. Um, just regular bind off. So we bind off all the eight stitches. Then we go to the seaming of our bow. Okay, so binding off all the eight stitches right last stitch and we're done with the strip so no need to leave 
um, long there. Yeah, you can cut it pretty short. Then secure that part. The last stitch. Okay, so I'm done with my knitting needles out of the way. So now we're going to do the seaming. We're going to seam our our band. So we're going to pass this yarn through our needle. Right. Right. So we want you want to do this neatly because this edge will show. I prefer doing it from the outside. So we're going to seam that together. Seam the two edges together. Going from side to side. Okay. So now we back when I'm done with the seaming, then we can um, construct a wall. Okay, so I've seamed together the edges. So you choose which side looks nicer. <laughs> that will be the outside. And the one that doesn't look so neat will be the back of your bow. <laughs> right, so now comes to the construction of the bow. We're going to need um, this, the band. So what I usually do is down the middle, I fold like I'm folding paper like this. So because this side shows the same side, that would be my back, the back of my bow. So I'm just going to secure this. I'm going to run my needle through these layers, still holding them together like this, just so that I secure the shape that I've managed to make here. So like this you do it tightly okay so this is the back of my bow all right so i'm just going to cut that out then i'm going to run my needle through here so that it comes out in the middle here okay like that then I'm going to attach, I'm going to sew on my bow to the middle part just to for some extra security. All right, you don't need to go through it a lot of times, just a few times, just to secure it to your bow. Though I'm going to run the, the strip over it, but this is just some extra security. I like to do my things that way. Right. So this is done. I'm going to cut off my yarn. Okay. So now I'm going to get some, some yarn from the color of the strip. Okay, run that through my needle because now we're going to attach the strip to the bow. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. Here in the middle is going is where we're going to put our strip. You can cut those off. Then 
we're going to pull this tightly and round it over at the back all right cover pull it over so that it covers your band the part where we attached it to the ball so that it's nice and neat okay then we're going to pull that part just increase my focus so you can see then we're going to pull this other part over this one like that Okay, then we're going to take our inner door and then we stitch this together. Okay, so starting from this edge here, so you do it nicely and neatly. Right, like that, this way, like that, Make sure it's nice and pretty. Okay, make it neat and tight. So, we're almost done with our ball. I'm just going to seam in that last part. Make sure you hide all the edges that are not neat. Seam them inside, like I'm doing here. Okay, like that. Don't want any stray yarns being left behind. Okay, so this is nice and tight. So now we're going to just make sure we do the final knot. Okay, let me cut that off. Okay, and we cut the spot off. Okay, right, and we're done. Our bow is done. How cute is that? So this was a pretty simple thing to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Activate your notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. Okay, so in my next video, we'll be doing, um, we're making this hat. Since we now know how to make the bow to accessorize it, we're going to make our head. Okay, thanks guys for watching. See you next time.